and three, two, one, boom. And we're back in the other episode of Crack Gamers. This is Crack Dialogue, where we talk about cool stuff. Well, one one cool thing we thought of during the week. Before, mm. if you were uh, paying attention, we used to talk about four cool things. Actually, it was kind of like, it's weird when you think about the evolution of this, say. Eh? Because it's like, we started off with just like, talking as we played over video games yeah. and then it became like four things and then we went back to like now we now we're like doing one thing with different yeah, segments yeah so yeah, yeah yeah um yeah so it's crack dialogue this week we're talking about the invisible industry yeah what is so that? so okay so it's kind of like that thing that you knew about the whole time but like well i guess not really knew about it. it's like how to put this the best way well it's, you were doing it didn't really we, yeah we, we were doing it but we didn't we were like analyzing it but we didn't know that there was a name for it so i'm reading this book right now called uh the reality bubble mm. and when i first saw it i was like what does it mean like reality bubble you know but then as i'm getting into it it's like oh it's it's sort of like uh you know the dot-com bubble the housing bubble yeah so a bubble is something that's like gonna pop right okay so like a reality bubble is like we're approaching this this stage in our our like not evolution but like our social understanding due to the internet and like these documentaries that are coming out that like our reality is about to pop like the thing that we thought was one way turned out to be another way right right uh so they actually the author coins the term the invisible industry i don't know if they they coined it but like it's it was used in the book and i was like oh that's that's a good way of putting putting it uh, so basically what the invisible industry is is like the hidden aspects of things that you didn't know that went on during uh, like during things for things that you're like oh this is a normal thing right yeah you know what i'm saying so like i'll, I'll just jump in with um with like the the example from the book and then we can deconstruct like other things that you know sure you never really thought about yeah uh so so in the book, they talk about like slaughterhouses, right? And like how how we think, you know, as animal rights activists, not us, but like there are animal rights activists mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, like slaughterhouses are bad, blah, blah, blah. But like, sure, if you don't eat, if you don't consume meat, you think you're doing like a thing, like you're a part. Yeah. But like the resources that are gained through um, the animal rights stuff, it, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Through the slaughterhouses are like, um, the the resource the resources are being utilized beyond just meat. Okay, so like mm-hmm. she she talks about like gelatin, which is like bones, right? So gelatin is used in Jello, and yeah. um, it's also used on um, like pills, like yeah. that that like the tablets. That, yeah, tablets. So like. Like those the like coating. No, not the coating. The, the, the rubbery. Yes, yeah, that rubbery. Yeah, coating, yeah. Right? To uh, yeah, the keep, capsule, like, the capsule. Yeah. So like, if there's like, if you have like medicine, like let's say uh, vitamin D oil oil pills, mm-hmm. right? The outer layer of that is yeah. gelatin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But so then you're like, okay, so I just won't take that, right? And you're like, okay, but that actually that's not the extent of it. We actually use gelatin in plastic bags, mm-hmm. right? So it's like the coating that like uh, the film, the coating of the plastic is gelatin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's like, so you're kind of like, you're kind of like, okay, I just won't eat meat. (laughs) Okay, I just won't take capsules. Okay, so I won't use plastic bags. All right, but the film, you know, like film for movies. Yeah. Like film strips are made of gelatin as well. Yeah. So it's like, how do you escape what it is we are? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do they still use film strips? Yeah, for for uh, when you go to the movie theater. Are you sure that's not a digital projection? I don't know. I don't think so. I think they still use film. I don't. I don't think so. Really? I don't oh, know. When did when did that switch? Because I remember like like my sister used to work in the movie theater. Yeah. And, like they were using film there. Yeah. But that was like five years ago. So you're saying it like recently switched? I don't think that was five years ago. But I don't know when. I, I I'm not sure. Maybe some movies still take like film strips. Film? Yeah. And then others use. Oh, but anyways, it would make more, I don't know. It, I don't know. Yeah, irregardless. Yeah. 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 I know what you're like, saying. Like you're it's in other a, things, right? Right. Like, or, or if you take a photograph, yeah. like if you're ma- taking, you know, those like old school, old school film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. old school film yeah. gelatin as well. But like yeah. that's just that's just what they've 
they've explored, right? But there's like definitely more yeah, yeah, yeah. uses for gelatin. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, generally, ta- like the pills and stuff, that's like, that's like the most common, I would say. Like things like the movies do change in tech, but like it's in a lot of things. Basically. Yeah, totally. It, yeah. It's, it's in a lot of the, things. That's so the whole point. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's so like my. All right, let, let's go through other examples and then I'll like pose my question to you. Sure. Um, so, do, do you got a good example of one? Uh, no, I don't know. We, we... Uh, all right, well, I, I have Chernobyl as one. So, we watched Chernobyl and it's like, um, okay. You, you, we, we like love our energy, right? Which is like steam. So, like, basically, the, the way nuclear power is, is it like, it's just creating steam which creates energy for us yeah right and it's like the cleanest one but like but there's radiation well, associated yeah. with it right because like even even though it might not be pouring out into us but there's like radiation for people that have to go and check the stuff right so it's uh, like what yeah, yeah, like yeah. one of our friends like he works in a nuclear power plant and he like even though he wears all the stuff if you get some of that dust on you you're getting radiation yeah so it's like you're you're indirectly killing so it's like it's like oh i support you know like clean energy it's like okay but do you support like people dying over your clean energy you know what i mean like where do we draw the line yeah you know uh, another good example is like um um amazon mm-hmm. everyone loves amazon but like they have those ridiculous like labor issues you yeah. know like efficiency issues and it's like we're gonna underpay you and so much pressure because we got to get these things on time and it's like yeah but mm-hmm. we all love amazon yeah, yeah, yeah you know what i mean yeah um what's another one i had on here um oh the music industry so like so for the music industry you have like a lot of people who who like you, you listen to music and you're like oh this is awesome right mm-hmm. but it's like you don't realize that the artist is getting a terrible deal that's why a lot of them are going independent now yeah right they're going through like apple music spotify and they're making their money other ways yeah because they get locked into a deal where it's like every cd you make if you watch artifact um 30 seconds to mars it's like a documentary on music basically um basically mm-hmm. it talks about how like every every time you put out a cd you go into debt so it's like a oh, yeah. ending cycle of yeah, debt yeah, yeah. right yeah so that's why a lot of artists are just like, okay, I'm not gonna like Macklemore was like huge on that, where he's gonna go independent. Mm-hmm. You know, he never wanted to get signed. So it's like, okay, well, I like music, but you don't like the way they're treating the artists. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um, another one is, um, well, slavery back in the day. I heard this one. I was like, oh, this is pretty interesting. So like, we abolished slavery in the West. We think of it as like um, a movement to like free people, right? Like, yeah, slavery is wrong, mm-hmm. right? But a lot of the people that wanted to abolish slavery were like the people who couldn't make money because they're like, okay, these slaves are stealing our jobs. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like you, we think of it in an altruistic way. It's like man should not be a slave to another man, right? But it's in reality, it's like no, it's like it's an economics thing. And the people in power, they're like, well, this is just cheap labor. You know, they talk, mm-hmm. they talk about like the prison economy now, how it's like people in prisons, they're basically slaves because they, they have to work, right? Yeah. But they get paid like nothing, like two cents or something like that per yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So anyways, or, or uh, actually final one, because Hassan Minaj talked about it, like the, uh, the oil. Um, so like we think of like oil as like, okay, just don't drive your car. But like if you look at the clothing industry, like a lot of that, those clothes are made out of oil mm-hmm. right and like a lot of um a lot it's like how do you where do you store that when it's done yeah you know what i mean so right. like like the logistics you're using oil and then you're creating like garbage and pollution because like where do i put all those clothes that are like being thrown out mm-hmm. you know and like but people love fashion yeah right? so my 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 ultimate question is like where do you draw the line like what is good and bad is there good and bad you know mm-hmm. i know we talked about this but it's like yeah. it's like is there even any point to it almost seems like it'll be a perpetual struggle between like good not good but like it'll be a perpetual struggle between like the have and the have nots yeah and we're always just balancing back and forth mm-hmm. you know between like how society should be structured and run 
Right. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's almost like, is there any point to, like, like fighting for your rights? Any point to? Yeah. I think it'll be probably, individ- like, uh, locally might help. Yeah. I mean, in, if you want to talk like that. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know. Personally, I'm just like, it's almost like you just want to step back and be like, like, you guys deal with it. You know what I mean? Because it's like... Yeah, but then no one deals with it, right? That's true. You know, for sure, for yeah. sure. But it's like, from both sides of the coin, you're you're dealing with, like, ignorance. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, the people fighting for, like, change don't realize how systemic the change is, and the people who are fighting against change, uh, against change, yeah, like, keeping the status quo, yeah. it's like, they don't realize, like, the ramifications of their actions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like yeah. on both sides of the coin you have like confused people being confused. And it seems like an it seems like a a human characteristic of like always being unsatisfied. Uh yeah. But that then that that's what we're evolved on, right? Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It it reminds me of like that story of like the Garden of Eden, right? Like you're in the Garden of Eden and then you get kicked out mm-hmm. and then nothing is perfect anymore. Right. But then the analogy is like the Garden of Eden is like your ignorance and then you wake up to the reality situation, you know? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, this is actually, and we were like our whole mission is to get back to, you know, perfect states. But it almost seems like the perfect state is to realize like it's just going to forever be us fighting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I, just, I don't know. Like, what, what do you think? Is there any way like around it or... I don't think so. I think it's probably the human condition, right? Yeah. So, so do you think we're just destined to like put ourselves out of our own misery? Out of our own misery? Yeah. Like, do you think we're just gonna like end our own species because of our own ignorance? Like, like with the whole Chernobyl thing, right? Yeah. Like, if that right, if right, they didn't right. figure out how to fix, so mm-hmm. basically, what what happened in Chernobyl is like because people were trying to cut costs, they ended up exploding the reactor, and then that thing spewed so much radiation that like. Europe saw so many increases in like um, cancer and deformities and like early deaths and stuff like that. I mean, right? in in Russia, yeah. yeah, yeah, but but like, but like, where do those winds take it? Like, what are the ramifications of that event? You know, right, we, we, our it, own it, destruction in a way. Right, right, yeah. and and if they couldn't fix it, you yeah. know, yeah. where would we be? Because like, they were saying that that thing would keep on spewing out toxic radiation for like some time some of them maybe fifty thousand years yeah so it's like if you didn't know how to stop that where would we be you mm-hmm. know we, we would have just destroyed ourselves it's almost like we're always on the brink of like our own destruction by our own hand yeah i think uh i did say that like you know we just we're just doing things that uh are, are like short-term gains we don't really necessarily know what will be the long-term effect of them right yeah totally um but then that's it's just how we all live, though, right? We yeah, don't like, really know the long term until it, it happens. Until it happens. True, but but like like they were saying, like this could have been avoided if they just didn't cut costs. Yeah, but then it it's the whole it's the whole thing of like they have to stay competitive, competitive with right. the Western world, but they don't have the same amount of money that the Western world does, so they have to do this these sort of things. It's just right. Totally, I I yeah, I, yeah, I see your point, and it's like. So maybe the only way mm-hmm. to achieve world peace is when all of us stop looking out for our own gain. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like like more collectively, you're saying? More collectively. But like yeah. if we do that, then it's like there's gonna be people who cheat the system. Yeah. So it's like you can never it can never be foolproof. Right. Unless we have like a totalitarian government, which is like they had kings right back mm-hmm, then, mm-hmm. and like, but then how can you trust the people on top? Yeah, you know what I mean. It's yeah. like there is no effective way to like govern our society. Yeah, it's just always going to be a learning thing, like or yeah, evolving it, thing. I guess it, it almost seems like in life you have to choose which battles you want to take on, right? But to realize that the battle you choose to take on is a naive battle because any battle is naive. Mm-hmm. You know, but like, all right, so you might be like, if you're listening to this, you're like, oh, that's like, that's an interesting perspective, right? But it's like a lot of like spiritual 
teachers said that same thing you know that's why a lot of monks just went into the mountains right because they're like oh society's messed up yeah you know they knew that like it's impossible to govern such a like seven billion people how do you do that Mm -hmm. with like you have seven billion people with their own agendas their own motives their own desires yeah you know what i mean right right what do you mean yeah how do you you can't do it yeah you can't yeah which which brings into like the thought of like thanos Mm-hmm. Remember how Thanos is like, oh, I'm just going to like slaughter half the universe. Because there's just too much overconsumption. Yeah. You know? And it's like, yeah, I, I, I kind of gather what you're saying. Like, I see, I'm not saying go out and slaughter half the universe. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, like, I'm not like calling yeah. for like terrorist stuff. I'm just like, you would have to see like, like the futility yeah. of your ways. Like uh, when Frost on that podcast, he was saying, um, for us, a hobby. Yeah. He was saying like um, nihilism is the ultimate fate for any intellectual because mm-hmm. it's to realize like that everything you do is futile, right? Yeah. But then, but then for me, it's like acceptance is the defeat of nihilism because you just accept your experience and then you just enjoy it from there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is what you taught me because it's like it's like if this is what we're doing, if we're just complaining, it's like there's no no use in complaining. Right. Yeah. You know, like if, if everybody's fighting for something, but they don't realize the totality of the situation at hand, then it's like, then we're just shouting. And there's <laughs> no point in shouting. Right. If this is just what the human species is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, I mean, everyone has a different, like, um, goal or whatever in life, I guess, right? Like some of us feel fulfillment for fighting for things, yeah. you know? It's yeah. It's like... I I um well I enjoy watching them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Right. But, but you know what I resonate with the most? It's like Gandhi's perspective where it's like be the change you seek. Right. So it's like yeah. it's like stop telling people what to do and just like do it yourself. Right. And then people will follow by your example. Like be the exemplar in life. Yeah. You know? If you want something that, to yeah. change, you just do it. And mm-hmm. then your life will change. It doesn't mean the world will change. It just means your life will change. Yeah, you might change some other like people around you, and then maybe they'll affect some. Like that's the general idea of that. Right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Exactly. It, it's it like, a, like it, a. But that's like a grassroots movement thinking, though. True. Yeah. And you become like a domino effect. Yeah. But it's like, but it gives people the freedom to do whatever they want. Yeah. You know. So it's like, okay, if the giant cluster is headed for an avalanche. Or uh, an iceberg, Mm -hmm. you know, it's like, okay, well, at least I'll be happy in my little cluster as the giant ship, the Titanic, heads towards the iceberg. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, if we're going to head towards the iceberg anyways, might as well enjoy the the luxuries of um, the ship while we can, Mm -hmm. you know? But I don't mean in terms of, like, consume, consume, consume. I just mean in terms of, like, realize that this is your life experience. You know what I mean? Right. Because it's like, you can't. You know they say like one person can't can make a difference. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, how does that one person make a difference without a team? Right. Or also, it would just be that one person doing <laughs> yeah, his yeah, own thing. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like mm-hmm. we really can't change anything. We can only find collective people that think the same. But even if like let's say let's say you're you're so successful, you change in, uh, a province, and then you end up changing a country. How do you change other countries? You know what I mean? We don't live like they live. Like what one good example is like um that that place in Russia that Tara always looks at. It, like, <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like, okay, so for us it's like negative three here, but over there it's like negative thirty. Uh-huh. You know, so it's like we're dealing with different variables. So I will never know what it's like to live in a negative thirty place. I can't govern or make decisions for you. Yeah. You maybe cons- overconsumption is important for you. You know what I mean? Like it's your situation, your life perspective. Mm-hmm. It's easy to sit on like a high chair and be like, people should live like this, but we don't know what other people live like. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very, it's a, it's a very elitist mentality, I think. Mm-hmm. To be like, the world should be run this way, you know, or like people should do this thing. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, in, uh, in a lot of sense, it's yeah, it is the Western world saying that, but. The eastern side or in a different path too right like it's con it's in conflict there you, you i don't know if you can really gain what you want 
Right, right. For the whole corruption. World. Oh, right, right. right. In, in yeah, but sense. because the variables are different. Yeah. So it's like there's more corruption there, but there's also more resources, right? Because it's like warm. Mm hmm. You know. The only way I think it, you just have to, if if you want them to do things, I think this is what, like, you would have to help them do it or pay for some things or, like, you know what I mean? Like, sure. Yeah. In, I see what you're saying. In that way versus, uh, but it's like how do you pushing know, them to go one how way. do you, but like you don't again you don't know yeah. the ramifications of your decision so it's like okay let's say we're like oh yeah. you guys need more food there so we're gonna open up these factories to give you more food and then you end up kicking out the locals who are already making food like what happens to their industry yeah so like that reminds me of like when people um were sending um these mosquito nets okay in africa uh -huh, uh -huh. to stop malaria or something okay and then the uh, one person that, that came here was like doing a talk and she was like, that's not the way to do it. You should be helping the, because well, by sending those, you're affecting the local businesses who make the mosquito nets. Mosquito nets. Right, exactly. And so you're affecting their business. business. So like you should be helping them make it like, or sending money in that way for, or for some other things. But like, uh, uh, like you have, you don't realize the ramification, ramifications on local businesses that, right, you, that's that you're having. Totally, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Ima imagine being like um, a world leader. That's like an impossible job because every decision you make has like a domino effect. Yeah. Like you can never make the most perfect decision. I think that's what they spend their entire life, like their entire careers doing. Like, can I, well, no, no, all right. The altruistic ones are like looking for that one solution that will domino effect and put everything into place and everything will be perfect. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the other ones are like, let me, let me like, let me look out for my team, my yeah. country, you right. know? So yeah. it's like, it, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's, it's competition. It's a competition over resources because we have we have not infinite resources yeah and we have a lot of people looking out for their own team mm -hmm. you know yeah um i don't know yeah uh, especially like you can see that now too it's just like you know with north korea and other parts of the world like the way they view north korea but then why is north korea like left out <laughs> Oh, I see what okay. you're saying. Like yeah, then yeah. that instigates them to be more like more aggressive. Like, yeah, more, yeah, totally, totally. It's um, like um oh, what's that thing where it's like it you become ah, oh, I forgot what it's like it's it's so it's a self fulfilling prophecy. Mm -hmm. If I tell you you're garbage, then you're gonna just end up becoming like, Oh yeah, I find it will be garbage then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're not gonna like they're not gonna evolve themselves and be like, the whole world's calling us trash. Yeah. Let's let's show them that we're not trash. Yeah. You know, yeah, they're, they're going to yeah. be thinking, "Okay, you want me to be trash? I'll be trash." Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a great example because, like, like uh, North Korea is one of those last remaining places where it's like everyone's kind of like, "Ooh, that place is sketch." Yeah, you know. So it's like, how how are you going to deal with that? You have like a totalitarian ruler who believes himself to be a god. And then the rest of the world's like, no, that's not how <laughs> that works. Right. So it's like you're in in your pursuit to make equality, you're infringing on the person's rights who doesn't want to be equal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like it's like, oh, you need to be this way because there'll be peace. But in asking for peace, you're taking away my freedom of choosing individuality mm -hmm. over collectivism. Yeah. You know? Maybe I want to be individualistic, not collectivistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? I, yeah. I don't know. It's it's a tricky it's a tricky world, I guess. There's so e, many e, things you know, to do. You know how we'll get world peace? Oh. Robots. When we become the batteries, like the Matrix, for the robots, then there'll be world peace because the robot will have one objective in mind instead of like it, it's like the hive mind, right? Like you, you have one. What do you mean when you say robots? Like, like what kind of robots if, are we talking? If robots enslave human race. Oh. I mean like that. Like oh, or like race. aliens, right? What about aliens? Or like aliens, yeah. If they yeah. enslave us, then they'll have world peace because humans will be out of the equation. <laughs> yeah, we're in, yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if, you, if you take away choice and free will, well, actually, I don't believe in free will. If you take away choice. The illusion and the illusion the, of free will. And the illusion of free will, then you will have. Actually, no, I don't even think. I think it's just, it's just who we are 
to our core. Which is what do you mean? Like um like this whole instability yeah, yeah, is yeah. just human human nature at its core. Yeah. We're just an insta instable species. Um yeah. yeah. I agree. I mean when you get too large, because like small tribes can live together in harmony. But even within that there will be sometimes factions, right? Right, right. But but the onus of blame is yeah, more direct. Yeah. yeah. You know? So if there's like ten of us in a right. room, we're probably never gonna fight. Might fight a little bit, but we'll resolve it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like, if there's a thousand of us, ten thousand of us, then it's like the the like there's more heads, more you know, yeah, 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 opportunity for dissent. Oh yeah, yeah, I see, what you're saying. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like smaller groups, smaller groups create peace because mm -hmm. we live more harmoniously. Because like the the consequences of our actions are more direct; they're seen. You know, if if I don't want to share my resources with you, like the nine other people are going to be like, "What a jerk!" Yeah, you know, and they'll be like, "Oh, I'm not a jerk." But like, <laughs> but like when you start getting bigger, it's like, it's like, yeah, maybe like that. But then you know, yeah. there will be also that's why we have multiple smaller communities, and when they do clash for resources, again, right? No, no, no but to like, see that, that that's where I was going to go for it. So it's like, yeah. yeah, okay, so then maybe that's the solution: multiple small communities. But it's like, no, no, then those small communities will start fighting other communities for their resources, <laughs> and we'll be back to like history. Yeah. Right. When we had kingdoms. Yeah, maybe that's just inevitable for us in a way. I mean, this is also new in a way to have a huge population, but you also in a time of peace to actually think about things. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. You know. Yeah. Yeah, we are in the mo in the spot of being having the most peace on earth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I, I guess I don't know. Can, I guess we can technically have more peace. I don't know. Is that possible? Can you have more peace? I but I think so. But we just have to get rid of desire. Mm -hmm. We have to have like a hive mind. We need to be enslaved by robots. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like you need to take away the fundamental component that makes humans human. Right. Right. Which is like our ability to our freedom perceive yeah. freedom but, right yeah. right right okay yeah you know yeah because yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah. like at our core we all want to be individualistic right uh, like, like think yeah. about it. it's like we all want to be unique snowflakes i think it depends on how these uh, general culture is okay um i think i don't know if that that might have a lot of impact on if you think like that Oh, oh, being right, yeah, it's, thing. it's a very American thing. Um, right, right, right. Oh, very Western thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I can see that. To, uh, like, want for yourself. Mm hmm Yeah. I think uh, that's why I'm saying it depends on the upbringing generally um, uh, or the cultural outlook on those sort of things. Yeah. But you have so many different cultures. Yeah, I know. So it's like, all right, so now we're eradicating culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it yeah the only way but like they will see the benefits like i think was you, you can see it from the west too or the east too like they want it they want what the west has right yeah the for east, sure yeah, they have the west yeah we're the west <laughs> it, it almost seems like um uh this is gonna sound really weird but it is like just go with it it's almost like peace on earth is enslavement <laughs> right right because it's the only way to get everyone in line right mm -hmm. we all want peace on earth okay so I'm going to enslave you to to focus on being peaceful. But I think there might be like something to do with that. It's because it's like the most, um, uh, like where we, you know, the whole idea of losing the freedoms, right? And then wanting to get those things back. In a way, we'll have to generally help everyone to do that, right? Like, yeah, but right, sure, sure, sure. I see what you're saying. Totally, we have to help everyone. Okay, but we have limited resources yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like yeah. okay if there's one piece of bread who's gonna get that piece of bread mm -hmm. you know yeah uh or uh, i mean i think we're yeah in a way designed like that like within you know chimpanzees and bonobos you can see the same kind of thing yeah with that uh scientific experiment where they gave um like a grape to one monkey for doing a task and then they gave like a cucumber to the other yeah. one the one who got the cucumber got pissed he's like what the hell is this it's not a grape <laughs> yeah you know? Or even, yeah, there was other ways to do, um, like, uh, yeah, that kind of, uh, that's equality, I guess, right? Uh, test. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. They, well, I actually well, think about this now. Like nature, the only time you ever see peace in the in the um, the only time you ever see peace in the the kingdom of nature, the animal kingdom, is through enslavement. The queen for the ant, the king, lion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's always like one leader that everyone listens to. No, yeah, we did the same thing though, right? Right, but no, but we don't want that anymore. We want like democratic rule, so we all get to vote. Imagine all the lions being. Yeah, but like, we're still oh, voting vote. on a leader, right? Right, right, but it's he doesn't have total rule. Uh, yeah, right. But because we can still vote him out, so yeah. it's like the the definition of democracy is people rule, mm -hmm. right? But like people rule at, on a on a leader, and if that leader sucks, we we switch them yeah, out, yeah. right? But then that's not. Like in, in nature, they don't have that. They have like the, the fittest survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best lion yeah. is going to become the king of the jungle. Yeah. And then everyone falls in line. And then if you want to battle, it, it's a meritocracy. In, um, in, in well, that's like, it's like the, that's the general role for the males and lions, right? To, to try to take over a, um, a pride. Right. But, but they have peace until. Like, if, if all the lions got a chance at becoming leader, mm -hmm. you probably wouldn't see peace. You'd probably see chaos. Right. You know? Yeah. And because then there'd be infighting. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's an interesting world, I guess. <laughs> Where else that's why you can just observe it. Like, yeah, that's just, what I do. You just can't really get involved in it because it's like... You know, well, if it's not what you want to get job. involved in, yeah. Again, it depends what you want to do in, with your life in a way. Yeah, true. Right, I agree with that. But I think the the most observant, the most uh, objective person is the one who just sees it for what it is. Yeah, but then it depends on on what you like. If there was no Martin Luther King. No, I agree. Yeah. Right. So there, no, no, that's what I'm sure. saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You need like people to move the needle. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're just moving the needle back and forth, right? But like, in in our pursuit uh, of of uh, total equality, yeah, I think it generally moves like that. But I don't know, it's like maybe it's like two steps forward, sometimes one uh, like one step back, or like yeah, I see what you're another. saying. Like it's more like that. Yeah, we won't technically go back to yeah, no, no, exactly I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But then like one of the other spectrums is like how much how much equality is too much equality? Because mm -hmm. you know we're we're dealing with that thing now where like. Like the the fox kin stuff. I love that example where the person was like, "I identify as a fox," so he's <laughs> like, "I'm a fox kin. I'm not a human." And they had to like listen to him, right? Because it's like, okay, equality. Mm -hmm. So like, is that is that detrimental? You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Uh, yeah, I guess it could be. That's generally happening only in the places where they have the most freedoms, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But like, if we're if we're analyzing it from like world peace, mm. the definition would be everybody gets everything they want. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it's like, how do you define world peace? That's actually probably the first question. Like, we want world peace. All right, how do you define world peace? Mm -hmm. Everyone gets everything. It's like, okay, well, there's not infinite resources. So redefine it. Everybody becomes understanding. Okay, so then you must be understanding the person that doesn't want world peace. Right. You know what I mean? It's like a paradox. It's like it's always looping on itself. It's like every time you think you have the answer, there's always a rebuttal to that answer. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's almost like Socrates's uh, why game. You know, right? Socrates is like it's like uh, this why because of this why because of this yeah. why yeah. you know that's like that's the Socratic method always asking why yeah and then the yoking method is just accepting whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe we are already at world peace for the people who observe and experience it as world peace, right? Because their world is at peace. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, mean? yeah. I think we've said something similar before, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. I just found that really interesting about the the inv invisible industry. Yeah. So okay, so what? How does that impact us? Like, what is it trying to really? What do you mean, world peace or the invisible okay. industry? Yeah, um, it impacts us because in our seemingly woke ways we're just 
demonstrating our own ignorance mm. by by proclaiming to be woke and pursuing right. woke things. Right. I think what I was saying ignorant. yesterday too was like I like yeah I, I see like we were connecting like there's so many things involved and in, uh, with animal products or like with oil or with whatever it's connected yeah. to. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the general population don't know that, but I'm wondering like if the extreme, those extremists would, who are followed that to the extreme, would try to cut these things out. I guess, like those people. Yeah, yeah, I've seen I've seen those people in like vice docs, like they live in the forest and stuff, and they like the people who live off the grid. Yeah, right. But like, who wants to live off the grid? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like yeah, okay, the solution is living off the grid. Okay, go live off the grid. Right, but in living off the grid, you're just leaving me alone. Mm. But that's also what monks did, right? Monks, yeah, they yeah. lived off the grid. Yeah. They lived in the mountains because yeah. they realized, you know, if you want to be a part of society, well, society is fundamentally flawed. So, will that happen here too, where they would uh... people live off the grid? Yeah. Uh, well, if they lived off the grid, we would just never have to listen to them <laughs> complain. Right. You know what, what I'm saying, saying like, is like, will that happen? Then eventually, will that happen? Where they would just and see that it may not be working whatever they're trying to do and i think i think the people that decide to live off the grid are going to just separate themselves further and further from the elite mm -hmm. right because it's like we're gonna go live off the grid cool man I'm i mean I, over I, here I, i've seen some uh, some people do do that already actually yeah. live off the grid yeah oh okay there are some actually um, but, how do they but they're the like individually how do they eat uh local stuff so they what are so, they growing i guess Okay, but what, how, where do they live? Like in the forest. Yeah, but but like in Canada or like because yeah, it's yeah, cold. Yeah. How what are you gonna what are you gonna create in the forest? No, like hunt in, in winter. Stuff. You're gonna hunt. Yeah. But then even in that, you're taking a life. Yeah, I know. So it's like the, it was more like, like it's like, more about uh, yeah, no, no. But no, what I'm saying is like yeah. it's like okay, we're gonna live off the grid. Okay, but you're still killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying like that—that that is one of those people that have lived off the grid, but they're not. I don't know if technically you would call them like veg vegans or whatever like that. Um, I don't know how they would potentially live in a cold area. You'd have to go to a warmer climate to be able to have all the things that you need. Oh, I see what you're saying. That—that's what I mean about resources. Yeah, yeah totally, totally. Yeah. So like, all right, let's say you're you're like um, a a vegan activist and you mm -hmm. want to live off the grid, so you go. So you can't obviously live in Canada. So you're gonna go to a warmer climate, okay? But there's only so much land in a warmer climate. So again, it's like the bread example. It's like there's one piece of bread. Who's gonna get it? There's one piece of land. Who's gonna get it? Mm -hmm. There's gonna come a point when there's not enough land. And we're all gonna fight for it. Yeah, I See mean, what I'm uh, even not infinite resources makes for yeah war. I mean, but we've we've gone in, in these stages over and over too. It's like uh, these sort of things that we're what's going on now is I don't think it's necessarily not new because it was kind of like that during the '60s. No, totally. That's what I'm saying. Um, that, but that's what I mean. It's like we're just getting over nothing. They, yeah, but they had so they did their ashrams. Remember, like even Steve Jobs was part of one of those. Um, Hare Krishna Hare people, yeah, yeah. and then they had their own farm or something. Okay, yeah. But then he saw like how the uh, problems, like even in in house problems, yeah. happening too, within that even small group that it was. Um, but it's 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 uh, it's just you know it goes back and forth, I guess. I, but that's what I mean. So like the most observant, objective person is the one who just steps back and yeah. just like, okay, you guys bicker. But I wonder, I wonder, it's like it's also like with the like. How, what like the age you're at too right like okay. you feel more of a rebellious cool. when you're younger oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then once you start getting older you see the um the way that it is how it's always how it's always has been kind of like sometimes. actually that, that's funny because i i had even gone through that myself when i was very idealistic remember mm -hmm. i was like okay yeah. the whole world and that's why we started that academy like that that persistence academy because we're like okay we're going to change the world with this and then like over time you start to realize like oh that's a naive thought. Yeah, or it's a bigger, bigger uh, thing to do when you're what you're fighting against, basically, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's also impossible. So the only thing you can really do is just like lead by example. It's like, okay, yeah. So I choose to, right? You know, subject myself to X, but not Y. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's all you you really can do. All you can really do is just accept the situation at hand. You know, mm -hmm. it's like you can have your opinion of it, sure, because we all have our opinions. But at the end of the day, it's like 
it is what it is. Yeah. You know. Right, right, right. To be a truly accepting person, I think, is to accept everything. Right. The good and the bad. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, because they're like, oh, like, the Dalai Lama is so holy. And it's like, if you have any um, objection as to why something should not be a certain way, then you are a part of the problem, not the solution. Right. Because you're creating more separation between things. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like, you know, the most understanding individual, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, they have their own perspective of how you should behave. And if you have a perspective of how somebody should behave, then you're not actually accepting. Because you're telling someone how to right. do something rather uh, than just okay. letting them be that thing. Right, right. Do you see right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think the main thing, yeah, is just yeah lead by example yeah that's actually why a lot of um now that i think about it in a lot of like like zen scriptures and stuff yeah. they say like if you if you meet a zen master you'll never know they're a zen master mm -hmm. because they're so normal they're just doing their own thing right they're, they're not like out there trying to champion anything because they realize the futility of that it's mm -hmm. like yeah i'll become the spiritual the, the closest i've ever seen is osho you know because like his perspectives were very real you know right where he dealt with like the mind stuff and like he was actually a um nearing the end he became like a zen person mm -hmm. you know um that's why he had like the rolls royces plus preaching stuff because he was like living in both worlds yeah. you know yeah. but still he fell short i thought because it's like he would criticize other religions Mm -hmm. you know but if you criticize something then you're not actually accepting of anything yeah you know what i mean right 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 but i think like this idea this notion of world peace is that we accept everything mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but the, within reason see what i'm saying it's like yeah, yeah we accept yeah. everything within reason so it's like so then you don't accept everything <laughs> you know what i mean yeah there's a limitation yeah. yeah and if there's a limitation to your level of acceptance then you're not actually accepting you're you may be like a high functioning accepting person yeah you know your your threshold for acceptance is very high but there's a limit and if there's a limit it means you're not actually fully accepting mm -hmm. yeah true you know it's like yeah, a yeah. fundamental flaw right in your in your you know in your proposition yeah right <laughs> maybe can all right but can you be completely denouncing you know what i mean so like all right there's there's one end where it's like completely accepting okay we saw the fundamental flaw if you if you see a limitation then you're not fully accepting but completely denouncing and what does that mean like like can you be like hmm. okay so like what i'm trying to say here is like so we we champion to be a completely accepting society yeah right so that's us trying to create world peace by being ultimately accepting right mm -hmm. but then i'm wondering if the other the other spectrum it's like if we completely denounce everything like don't do that 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 it's like what well, can you achieve world peace that way At two extremes? Yeah. In a way. Um, maybe? Because I mean, has it been done before you know, like that? Like, yeah, that would be like a totalitarian government, Yeah. right? It's yeah. like, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Right? So you have like one free society with the limitation of it being not totally free. Yeah. And then you have a completely denouncing society where it's like no i will tell you exactly how to behave mm -hmm. maybe we're we're shooting for the wrong thing like i was saying the whole time it's like you need totalitarian governments you need like one hierarchical system you need one leader uh, if you want true world peace yeah but nobody really wants world peace is what i'm saying okay you know it's like we think we want world peace but we don't realize what world peace would entail world mm -hmm. peace would entail you losing all of your freedoms right right yeah, yeah. we want peace okay let's let's equally distribute all of our resources oh but i want two pieces of bread not one sorry 
Mm-hmm. Like at one. Right. Because this person needs to eat too. Yeah. You know? Not true. Right? Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? So maybe like the people that want world peace really want communism. Uh, there is a lot of connection to that, actually. Yes. I, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Socialism, mm-hmm. communism, like the one ruler. Yeah. Totalitarian governments. Yeah. So it's like to want world peace, you don't realize what you're asking Wait, I for. I think I thought that before, actually. Oh, really? I like, okay, thought cool. that I think that like communism was the way to go, but like it's never been done right. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did have that kind of thinking. Actually. Because that's that's what it is in nature. Yeah. If you really want har- harmony, mm-hmm. it needs to be governed by one thing. Yeah. That's saying this, not that. Yeah. Total, um, totally the opposite of a completely accepting society. Yeah, yeah. So if you really want world peace, you don't want acceptance. I think in some ways it kind of is turning out to be like that, though. Like uh, when they. What do you mean? When they make like, oh, you shouldn't be saying this, you shouldn't be like, that's already putting rules to the freedoms, right? Yeah, totally. And then we're just going to wake up one day with like a governing body, like a world leader. Yeah. That's like total control. That's what cults are, right? Yeah. Like that's why there was so much peace in cults because they would follow one leader. Yeah. Like um, if you watch uh, the the Osho doc, mm-hmm. uh, what was it called? Wild Wild Country. So yep. everyone was happy. There was so much peace in it. But it's like, yeah, but he was like a rule. Well, within leader. the group, right? Yeah. Within the group. Yeah, yeah, within the group. Yeah. So it's like he was like, oh, I mean, the can... whole world would be happy if we did this. But then it's like, yeah, but we're all bowing down to you. Yeah. But nobody wants that. Yeah. Uh, well, some people did, I guess. That's why they joined him. Because they didn't see the end result of their decision. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's ever really worked that way in the long term i guess like one one leader yeah yeah because one person's going to be like this isn't freedom but then it's yeah but they don't realize that freedom but also means... uh, but also you know uh no one's the image that you have of him is not like the full image of him so oh yeah yeah, yeah. That'll like, also, like a deity like, yeah him, yeah like, that'll also God. break down the yeah yeah true the view i think that's kind of what happened with him right yeah yeah for sure yeah so it's like the same with uh, others. I don't know, like Charles Manson, what about that guy? Like what do you mean? Huh? Like he had a following too. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot how that broke down, but like, well, I guess he probably realized he was a killer. I don't know. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, cults are very interesting too. Just how that happens. Well, we kind of all are part do of some too. sort of cult. Yeah. Just you know, back in the day, they would call like religions cults. It's the cult of Dionysus, the cult of Apollo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, but that was just the term, right? Yeah, no, it's no, like, I understand. It's like, a, like a normal term, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, if it's not like the, if it's not the monotheistic religion, then it's a cult. Right. Because that's what they would say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Polytheism. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a mind I mean, they said it the other way around, too, when it was mainly polytheism and then... Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, just, like... it's, it's just in-group, out-group freaking mentality you're just you're finding a way to say that the other one is wrong yeah you know and that's what creates you know disharmony Mm -hmm. but then if you just let yourself be fully led by one thing then you're into um enslavement which is world peace yeah wow that's it enslavement equals world peace (laughs) right think about it you know Mm-hmm. Freedom equals. Um, so in, in the way, I rather non acceptance. Yeah, uh, non acceptance or not world peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll I'll choose that over. Oh, that's crazy! World peace equals enslavement. Freedom equals no world peace. Yeah, I think I'll choose freedom. Freedom? Yeah, I would choose freedom too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at that. If you just unpack it long enough, you get like the logical flaw. Right. Yeah. Oh, cool. Interesting. Yeah, that's a cool one. All right. Well, that was this week's episode of Scratch Dialogue, if you agree. Um, oh, I didn't even say this. P- 
pick up some teas on Zenreal. Oh yeah. Well, that, that's probably why I had like the little brain freeze in the beginning. I was like, I'm You're supposed missing to something. say something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. All right, yeah. So this episode sponsored by Zenreal Clothing Co. Pick up some teas on ZenrealClothingCo.com and use the code SG Podcast for twenty percent off select items. There's some Black Friday code too, right? Oh yeah, there's a Black Friday code, but oh, by the time this comes out, there'll still be the Black Friday code. Use BLK Friday for thirty percent off tees and hoodies. Nice. Yeah. But if it's after December sixth when you hear this, then the Black Friday code is now off. So until next time, choose freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take it easy. All right. Peace. Bye.